I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. It's been a while since I've done one of my Career Angle Facebook Live videos, and I uh, thought I would do one today because I want to experiment a little bit instead of just doing things the way I've always done them. So I thought I would talk with you today about networking, but not in the context of job hunting where most people think of it, but in the context of you and your career. Now, the person who gets ahead isn't always the smartest. They don't always work the hardest, although those great, those great qualities for someone to have. Now, normally I would continue by saying the person who gets ahead is the one who, shall we say, is alert to opportunity. And sometimes they're internal to the firm. More often than not, they're external. Now, here, Think in terms of networking in the context of your existing organization. Networking is a vehicle where people get to know you. For example, there was someone I coached into a role with a, a large financial firm. And the first thing he did upon joining is meet with all the senior people in the organization with whom he related and did things to understand what their needs were, develop a relationship with them so that they knew him, liked it, trusted him and respected him in the new role. Then, of course, you have to back it up, right? If you just do it at the time of the meeting, it's not ideal, is it? So you always want to be thinking in terms of your press, your PR, how people see you, what your strengths are, what your successes are. If you happen to be starting a new job, you want to get a quick win early. But the goal here is when firms are looking to select someone to take a step up, to take a step into a new role, you also want to be in a position where you're top of mind internally, that you're not passed over, that you're not the one who they go, oh, I don't think so, uh, because they don't know you well enough to know your abilities. Career angles is really about, very simply, creating the edges for which you're able to step in and fill the void. Part of that involves your PR, internal to your organization. If all you do is do a good job, well, no one thinks of you for those step ups or steps up, I should say. Instead, you have to be seen as someone who's at the table who belongs at the adult table in the organization. So that as, as happened to someone I knew uh, not long ago, he was up for a job in another country. He thought he'd get prepped for his interview by his boss. Didn't happen. He bombed out internally. It was an embarrassment for him and for his boss. Now, a year later, he's up for a different job. He treats it like an interview. He's well prepared. He's well rehearsed. He's well coached. That's me, by the way. And is able to deliver in a way that he gets the promotion that he wants. What do you do? How do you get yourself known within your organization in a good way? Obviously, you don't want to be known as the problem person. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. If you're interested in my coaching, you connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash The Big Game Hunter. Tell me that you saw the video. I like knowing I'm helping some folks. Once we're connected, you know, message me that you're interested in coaching. And by the way, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, rather than Facebook, let's see now, lower corner there, lower corner. See that little icon that's going to be down there? If you're watching on Facebook, you won't see it. But on YouTube, there's a little icon there. Click that and you'll subscribe to my channel on YouTube. You'll get notified whenever I do a new video. Hope you have a great day and take care.